Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to uh, take your USB drive and add Hen as long as well as Multiman and a Black Ops 2 mod loader. Um, so first off, when you get your USB drive in here, you're gonna go to Applications go to utilities right here go down to disk utility and this is on Mac and the reason I'm doing this is because I looked for a while looking for one that was on Mac and I couldn't find it so here's the USB I'm using Lexar USB flash drive um, so what you want to do is click on your USB Make sure you have nothing on here you're going to lose. Uh, if you do, back it up before you do this because it will erase it. So right here, the name isn't going to be FAT32 when you first put it in. But what you're doing is take it and enter FAT32 and it will change the format to FAT32. That immediately puts it into a bootable device and you hit erase. I had Hen already installed on this uh, USB. Okay, hit done. So now it's in FAT32. You are done with disk utility. Okay, now go to your drive. Right click here. Hit new folder. Title the folder PS. PS3, make sure the PNS are capitalized. Click in, new folder. This one is going to be update. And make sure that is capitalized. Okay, click into update. And you're done over there. Now, what I got in the app store in order to unzip RAR files which is what most of the uh, mod menus come in is the unarchiver if you look for the unarchiver it's going to be this one right here the very first one and works great I haven't had any problems with this so far so once you have that going to go over to ps3exploit.com I'll leave a link click on 4.89.1 HFW it's going to give you three links right here mirror one two and three I always click the first one hit download it's going to be downloading for a second double click on that it will unzip now you have the unzipped file right here ps3 updat.pub drag that over to your update folder and you are done with that now you can hit back back and it's copying right now so we'll wait a second. Wait until that's done. I don't need to wait until that's done, but I'm going to. Next thing you're going to need is PS3 Multiman at this link, store.ruology.com slash multiman.php. You're going to click on this one. Multiman V04.85.01 Once you click on that you're going to go to the I believe it is the unofficial Multiman I will yeah I believe it's the unofficial Multiman I'll just download that. 
open it. Oh yeah, it won't open. Sorry. Let's go ahead and grab that. Drop it in there. Once you do that, you are going to go over to your mod menu. This mod menu is a zip file. Um, yes, this one's a zip file. Most of the other ones I've done, like on Black Ops 1, they are RAR files, so that's why I needed the unarchiver. But this one's a zip, and it is not a mod menu, it's a mod loader. It has multiple mod menus on it. See? Read me jot D text. Everybody, thanks for all the subs and views. By the way, damn y'all crushing the shit out of that like button. Uh, did a case. So here's some Black Ops V1 installer. Um, this was made by Venom's YT. Venom's on YouTube. So there you go so we don't need that we're going to take this package over drop it in wait for that to finish the download Okay. Now, I believe we are done with the computer. So go ahead and eject your FAT32 flash drive. Eject and see you back at the PlayStation. Okay. So here we are back at the PlayStation 3. Um this PlayStation right here, I already have Hen installed on, so I'm going to use this one, which hasn't been used in about seven years. Um, I have my PlayStation controller plugged in because you will need that. I have my USB with Hen on it in the PS3 and update folders. And as you can see, right between these two is where Hen would be. Hen is not there, so therefore I do not have Hen. And if I click in here, I do not have Multiman installed either. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug this USB into the right or top USB slot. That is the one for data, I guess. I'm going to hold the power button till I hear a beep and turn off. It's off, it didn't beep. Now I'm going to hold the power button until I hear a quick double beep. Holding. Not that one. Hmm. Turn back off, so let's try it again. There we go. There's a double beep. And after that, you can let go. You want your controller plugged in via USB in the bottom port because it will give you this message, connect the controller using USB cable, press the PS button. Press the button. Now we're going to scroll down to system update. Connect storage media that contains update data version 4.89 or later, then press the start and select buttons at the same time. Pressing both buttons at the same time gives you checking, please wait. Made 
take a minute. <laughs> Preparing to update. Do not turn off the system. Okay, so now it is installing the update, the fake update that we put on that USB by putting hen under PS3 folder inside that update folder, which makes this recognize that as a normal software update or system update, which will, after this, we will have hen. So I will get back to you when it is done. Here we are, the update is at 100. It is going to restart. And we are back. See version 4.89.1 HFW hybrid and exploitable. One thing I forgot to mention before I did this is I will show you right now. Um, before you do this update, I'm not sure if it will matter, you know, when you do this update um, or if it would just matter later. So here's the user agreement. We're going to hit accept. Um, enter and it is going to install our hen update so one thing I forgot to mention was before you do this um, you want to go into system settings find automatic update and turn that off you do not want an automatic update because I doubt PlayStation will come out with another update for the PlayStation 3 old gen consoles. However, just in case, if they do, it will override this update and you will lose your hen. And you will probably have to go and do this all again. Um, I'm not sure if it would mess it up during this process if as soon as this is installed it would try to install the other update and erase this one but I have that turned off I forgot to mention it so we will wait for this to be finished and come back okay so we are back from the install of hen and I will show you the settings that I had forgotten. Automatic update, you want to set to off. Also, display what's new, you want set to off. Next, you will go to your browser. You will click triangle. Go up to tools. Go down to confirm browser close and you want that off. You will go triangle up to tools, home page, oh, use blank page. Okay, triangle, tools, and on delete cookies, delete search history, delete cache and delete authentication information you're going to hit every single one of them hit X yes on every one of them I've already done that so I will go straight to the keyboard and I am going to go to P actually I have it right over here ps3exploit.com the same place you did the download for hen right there ps3exploit hit start 
is going to take you here. It's going to give you this warning information saying that um, we got an outdated uh, version. The only way to get it is on their website. You know, um, unofficial mirrors can permanently break your PS3. However, we did get this from their website by clicking the link. So we just hit OK. Then we use the left analog stick to go up into the corner where it says PS3 Hen. Now we are going to use the, I use the D-pad. Go down to Hen Installer slash Enabler. Hit X. It will load this. It will say downloading and then it will automatically have your cursor over initialize hen installer. Now, this may take multiple tries to actually get it to work. It took me my first time, probably about four or five tries. You just hit initialize hen installer. It will start doing its thing. Come back to it. If it's not done, if it didn't do it correctly the first time, which this one probably won't, so I will come back and show you what to do if it doesn't. But basically, if it does, you know, I won't be able to show you, but you basically just hit initialize hen installer again. Um, so I will get back to you when that's done. Okay, so here we are again. Um, as you can see, exploit initialization failed. That happens almost every time, the first try. So what we are going to do is hit triangle, scroll all the way down to refresh, hit refresh. It will give us an opportunity to re-download this or do not save. Doesn't really matter which one you do. Last time I did overwrite and save, but this time I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do overwrite and save. It only takes a second. So here we go, already finished, hit circle. Once again, places our cursor on initialize hen installer. We are going to hit X and we're just gonna keep repeating that process until it says it succeeded. So I will be back when it says it is succe uh, successful. Sorry about that. Okay, so once it finally installs correctly, it will put hen installer initialized successfully. Um, the way I got it to finally install, because it took probably about close to 15 to 20 tries. Um, I think it might be because this PS3 is old, you know, but... Um, instead of reinstalling uh, or re-downloading that one file whenever you uh, re whenever you reload the web page I just didn't um, and after doing that this was the third time after not reinstalling that and it worked so next you're going to go down to install hen hit X it will do that installing hen and it should pop up with welcome to ps3 hen this right here javascript will close a window do you want to continue hit yes to continue and then right here you're going to hit circle to return back to the scroll bar now do not do anything this will install hen it will have two installs going after this first install, once it's complete, you're going to hit circle and then the next install will immediately start. Once again, do not interrupt this, don't try to do a background, it only takes a minute, maybe two. And then once that one is complete, that actually only took like 30 seconds. Once that's complete, hold turn off system yes okay now the system is off 
and once it's fully off we're going to turn it back on this is going to actually boot up with hen on the playstation so now when it loads up see how it says hen right there it will also have hen right in the center where you are so you can just hit it immediately right there enable hen you also have package manager however i don't just click enable hen when i start it up i come over to settings go down to network and i will turn internet connection off this just makes it to where it actually enables first try every time. Um, otherwise, sometimes it could fail. Uh, but when you do this, it it does that every time. Welcome to PS3 Hand. Could not resolve update host. That does not matter. Now, to enable the multi-man and that mod loader for Black Ops 2, you're going to go to Package Manager go to install package files, go to, um, I believe it is standard. Yes, here we are. All right, so we have the multi-man base and we have the uh, mod loader by Venom ZYT. So we are going to hit multi-man. Oh. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, okay. It's the second one. For some reason, every time I've done this, it has had two of each file. And sometimes it's the first one, sometimes it's the second. So now under unknown, you have multi-man. Now, if you are installing Black Ops 3 mod menus or anything like that, you are going to go into multi-man um, create an HDD copy of your game then uh, go into the uh, system and all that stuff I'll leave a link to that kind of video um, in the description however we're going to go to package manager install package files standard and we are going to install this Black Ops 2 MFL 4HEN by Venoms YT. And this is going to make it to where when we put Black Ops 2 in, we should start up with a mod loader. However, to do this, I will have to get Black Ops 2 out of my old console. Okay, that install is complete. Instead of showing you that, because that's right here. Um, it's right here. You know, actually, what does that do when I click on it? Okay, so this right here, you're going to choose zombies or multiplayer, uh, modded game mode, modded eboot with aimbot, you know, any of these things. Um, convert bless to bless, which I am going to have to do because my game file is saved under bless. And this needs you to have bless save file in order to use it. So I'm gonna have to do that, but I'm not going to do that right now. I will grab my other USB, which I have right here somewhere. 
Oh no, I left it at the computer. Let me grab my other USB. I will put in Black Ops 1 because I have a mod menu on that USB for Black Ops 1. And I will show you how to put that onto the game. Okay, so I have swapped out my USBs. This one has the Black Ops 1 mods. This one has the Black Ops 2. And I have Black Ops um, in the disc reader. So I'm going to go to Multiman. Um, hit yes, 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 yes. Applying standard theme. Okay. And the first thing um, most people would do here because do you really want that fucking music going the whole time you're trying to do this shit some people might but I sure as hell don't you're gonna go down to theme audio and disable Okay, now, under game, you're going to hit triangle. Uh, I believe it is copy, PS3 HDD, yes. Okay, so we put that eBoot bin into the game. Now we are going to go down to TMP. Actually, let me uh, delete this first. Delete that. Go into TMP. And we will take this, copy, paste, yes. Okay, and we are done here. Double click X on games. Hit triangle on Call of Duty Black Ops. The HDD, hit load with X. We will go over just to make sure our network is enabled. Yes, it's enabled. We will sign in. Go to Call of Duty Black Ops. Hopefully this time it doesn't freeze like last time. I thought I did something wrong but it just froze. Heard the low P, uh, PlayStation bing. That means it loaded. And we will get this mes message. Welcome to Snow Engine Remastered, cover converted to hand by Hazy Dex. R3 and up on the D-pad to open. We will hit PlayStation Network. It will read the HDD. The screen froze. Did it again. All right. I think this PlayStation won't work for it. Um, it's a lot older. Hasn't been played in a while. Um, this 
works on my other PlayStation, so I'm going to switch over to that one. Um, never mind. It worked. It just froze for a second. All right. Hit X for PlayStation Network. I will go to Private Match just because I only use these mods online with other people when there is a modder in the lobby then if I'm host I will give myself god mode and all that stuff and you know I just cause I don't like I don't like it when people sit there and mod and make the make the game not fun so I'm going to go to Nuketown might as well small map just to show you this menu and I will have links for all of this stuff in the description so I'll go Spetsnaz that and up on the d-pad R3 opens it go to lobby menu X is to uh, select up and down on the d-pad to cycle through um, hit GoPro is a beast fucking bitch ass menu created by your one and only GoPro 2027 say night night it's fucking bedtime floating bodies anytime you kill someone their body will float See that? Starts floating. See that right there? It's my body. Um, Hazy Dex is the best. Hacked Lobby. Hacked Lobby makes your uh, jumps go like kind of glitchy and weird. But. Advertise Snow Engine created by Nick B. Haxon and Milky4444 and remastered by JJ22HG35, aka GoPro2027. That's why GoPro2027 is a beast. His uh, circle to go back. Clients menu will only work if you are host, I believe. Um, you can toggle no clip. You know, if you're host, uh, unlimited ammo, switch to M1911, you know, um, this right there, I'm invisible, you know, you get it, um, so yeah, that's it. Um, you can change your name, change your clan tag, prestige yourself. Um, NW2 style aimbot makes it to where if you aim towards someone, like you kind of lock onto them if, you're, uh, if your aim is next to them, even if it's hit fire. It's kind of annoying to me a little bit. Enter in DVR, DVAR, you can enter shit. I don't know what the hell that's for. Force host, you cannot disable force host. So, if you ever do force host, any lobby you go into, it's going to take a while to get into one. So, I turned it on and I kind of regret it. But at the same time, god mode, you can't turn off either. So... God mode set. That one doesn't work. Yeah, that one doesn't work. Clients menu. Go down to me. God mode on. This one should work. And it didn't. But yeah. Um, I've had God Mode on before in a lobby. It actually did work. I don't know why it's not working. Maybe because it's not a public match. 
but you can turn on red box, super steady aim, which is the uh, crosshairs are just a T, no recoil, no recoil, toggle aimbot, wall hack, chrome players, you know, all that stuff. So there you go for this one. Now I'm gonna jump over to my other PlayStation and try to show you guys the Black Ops 2 mod loader. We'll get over that. <laughs> 